Hey, what's going on everyone? This video is going to be the first video going over some code for control flow. So once we start wanting to introduce logic, things can get a little bit fun because now we can start branching, making some cool applications and having some fun. Yeah, it's fun because we can have fun. Now, don't forget, you need to check out our super awesome sponsor, Monday.com. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so what now? Well, we're going to go over some logic and you're probably wondering what all this junk is. Well, this is from two videos ago. We basically created this person class and we're going to be using it in our program. Basically, all it does is it stores a first name and a last name. So take a good snapshot of this code. Now let's go back to our main method. Cool, I'm gonna put this away. And now let's start building stuff. So the first example I wanna go over is an if statement. And the structure looks like this. So you have if, parentheses, and then curly braces. Then you're going to put an expression in here that's going to evaluate as true or false. If it's true, the code inside of these curly braces will execute. If it's false, it'll be skipped. So what we're going to do is we're going to see if the person's full name is Caleb Curry. I'm conceited, I'm using my own name, but what are you gonna do? You gonna stop me? So all we gotta do is say person dot full name, double equals, which is a comparison operator. This will return true if they're the same and this needs to be equal to Caleb Curry. Now, just so you guys know, in Java, this doesn't exactly work as expected. And I have a video over that if you wanna know how Java works, but this isn't a Java series. <laughs> but basically, C Sharp and Java are very similar in a lot of ways, but this is one of the ways they are different. Because of that, you might see code like person.fullname.equals, and then in parentheses, Caleb Curry. Come on, I can't even spell my own name, there we go. So this code here is basically a different way of doing this right here. In C sharp, it means the same thing, but in Java, this is how you would properly do it. We're gonna stick with this way because that is the most pretty way in my opinion. So I'm gonna get rid of that crap. And now let's put some code in here to be executed when it's true. So we're just going to console write line and say, you got the name. And we're eventually going to ask the user what the name is and if they guess it right, they win. So we're just gonna say you win. Let's give it a run. Ignore that warning, that's from the other file. Right now we just gotta focus on the fact that it says you got the name, you win. Awesome, so now I want to actually ask the user to guess a name and we'll see if they get it right. First thing though, I'm gonna go get rid of this field here because it's being annoying. There we go. Now back to main. So we define the person and then we write out his name. We're gonna get rid of that and instead we're going to ask the user for, for the name. What do you think the name is? And we're going to store that inside of a string. We'll call that full name guess. And we'll just set that equal to console.readline, like so. Now basically we're going to compare the name of this person we created to what they guessed. So instead of using this string here, we're going to actually put our variable. So it's gonna look like this, full name guess. So if the person's name is equal to the name that we guessed, then we get it right and we win a cookie. All right, let's run it, make sure we did it right. Okay, it's asking us what the name is. We'll give it the right name, Caleb Curry, and it works. Running it again, but this time putting it in a different name, you can see nothing happens. We just put that name in. It doesn't print this line here. So this is allowing different outputs for different inputs. It's a way to make programs more dynamic. Now you may want to use an else clause. And what this does, this is going to execute if you get it wrong. So I'm just gonna put some encouraging words in here. And now if we get it wrong, watch what happens. Let's put some junk in there. And it says right here, you're a disappointment. Now we can also use an else if, which is very similar to the if, it's just another condition. So we can actually have two possible ways for it to be correct. One's gonna execute this way, and one's going to execute whatever we put here. So let's say we can give the person a second guess. So we're gonna copy this, and we're going to say second guess, close enough. We're just gonna call that full name guess number two. <laughs> then in this else if, what we're gonna put is person.fullName equals to full name guess number two. Then here we're just going to paste that line here and we're just gonna say, you got the name, you get one half points. 
So now in the first situation, if we get it right the first time, we win. If we get it right the second time, we get some points. But if we don't get anything, we're just a disappointment. So let's run this. What do you think the name is? We're gonna say Claire, and we're also going to give a second guess of, oh, well, I don't know, Caleb Curry. Just, you know, lucky guess, I guess. And it says, you got the name, you got one half points. Awesome, so this can illustrate how the if, else if, else statement works. It's usually just called an if statement, but these are known as like an else if clause and an else clause, but you'll hear all kinds of variations, so don't really worry about it. Basically, anything to do with if, else ifs, and else, we covered it. You should be able to cover basically everything you need. You can even put multiple else ifs in here. You can get rid of the else. Lots of variations. And pretty soon we're going to be talking about different ways we can do some cool comparisons in here. So not just equals, but you know, less than, greater than, all kinds of other cool stuff. So it's going to be an unbearable amount of fun that you definitely need to check out the next video. And please subscribe as it would really help out this channel. Thank you guys. I got to go do some yoga. So peace out.